Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolo Tech, and I wanted to show you how to go from your old phone to a new iPhone. So maybe you have an iPhone 7 Plus like this one, and you want to move over to something like an iPhone 10s, 10s Max, 10R, pretty much any new iPhone. You can go from the old one to the new one really easily. But as you can see, this one is already set up. So if you're at this stage and you've got a new phone, but it's already set up, you'll need to reset it to factory default. So I'll leave a link in the video here and in the description so you can do that. And then I'll show you what it's like to actually start over because you have to reset the phone in order to back up and restore. So let's first talk about backing up and then we'll restore to the new phone. Now on the older device, there's two ways to back up. One is through iTunes. The other one is through iCloud. If you have iTunes on a computer, plug it in and go to backup. It will back up all the same things that you'll back up in iCloud. And what those things are is all of your messages, all your bookmarks, all of your phone calls, all of your music. And if you purchased it from iTunes, you have Apple music, all of that's going to come right back. If you did not purchase it, it will go away, but anything you purchased, you can just get back through the iTunes store. So keep that in mind. Otherwise you want to save that on a computer so you can sync it to your phone later on. It will also back up your game data since most of that's saved in the cloud, such as Fortnite that's saved with the company that makes that Epic, but let's check our settings. So we go to our settings, then we're going to go to our name on the top. Then we're going to tap on iCloud. And then on iCloud, it will tell us how much storage we have. Now, if we don't have enough storage to back up, we'll either need to purchase some or use iTunes. And it's pretty inexpensive for the most part. And you want to make sure that all of these things are turned on if you want to restore these and have it save. And also with iCloud backup, make sure this is turned on and has a recent backup. So you'll see this one was done on the 12th, so I'll need to back up. And in order to back up, you'll need to be on Wi-Fi. And sometimes if you don't have enough battery, you'll need to be plugged in. So once that's done, we'll be able to restore to the new phone and we'll have all of our settings, like I said, including your game saves and everything else. So let's move on to the new phone. Now the new phones do not require activation using a SIM card. So if you don't have it set up with a carrier yet, you can put in your SIM card later on or do it now. It does not matter. So we'll wait for this to boot up and I'm actually going to restore it from an iPhone 10. So this is a 10 S max. I've got an iPhone 10. I want to restore what's on here exactly how it is over here, including all of my apps, the way everything's laid out, all of my settings. And let me show you how to do that. So now, it's at the hello screen. If I bring my phone over that I want to move over, it's going to move everything over here. Let me swipe up. I'll select English, United States, and you'll see here it says if you have an iPhone or iPad running iOS 11 or later, bring it nearby to sign in. So let's turn this one off, turn it back on, and immediately you'll see it pops up and says set up new phone, unlock to continue. Now we're going to hit continue. It's connecting. And then on this phone, we're just going to move it in front of the camera right there. And you'll see it says waiting for other phone. It's connecting. It's making a Wi-Fi connection between the two phones so that it can transfer all the data from one to the other. Now we need to put in the passcode from the old phone. It says setting up your phone. So we'll give it a moment. It may take a few minutes to activate your phone. Now we get to data and privacy. So it says finish on the new phone. So we'll set this one aside. We'll just leave it right there and we'll continue here. Continue. Then face ID. We want to set that up. Now it's set up face ID. It's setting up the Apple ID now. Now you'll see over here, it says your Apple ID can now be used to set up your new phone. Hit OK and we'll set that one aside. Now we have some options here. We can set this up as a new phone, move data from Android, restore from an iTunes backup or restore from an iCloud backup. Now, if you did the iTunes backup, like I said earlier, you're just going to select that, plug it into iTunes and it will pop up and you'll be able to restore. I want to restore from an iCloud backup. So it'll find a recent backup. Now, keep in mind, if you're on a newer version on the older phones, you're not going to be able to restore to this one. You have to be on a current version. So I'm going to select this one. So I selected my backup. I'll hit continue. I want to install updates manually, but you can do it automatic if you'd like. 
The only advantage to doing it manually is I'll have to check. I'll set up Apple wallet later. And then it says, do you want to use this with my Apple watch? And yep, I do. You can either share app analytics or you don't have to. This just helps people such as the app developers figure out what's going on with their apps. It's anonymized. Your data is not sent directly to them. Here's true tone. You can see the display with or without it. You can turn that off later if you don't want it. So now it's restoring from iCloud and this takes the longest amount of time and is dependent on your internet connection as well. So if you have a ton of data to move back, it could take hours, sometimes a day, or it could take minutes. It just depends on what you have. Now the initial restore doesn't take terribly long, but once it reboots, it will come up to the main screen and it'll start installing apps and that could take a while. So we'll let this restore and then we'll check back. So you'll see the restore time is about one minute. Then the phone will reboot and we'll be back at our home screen. And I think it just rebooted. So we'll wait for it here just a moment. So you'll see, you'll get the restore bar. This takes a moment as well. So you'll see the phone rebooted. It says no SIM card installed, but that's okay. We'll unlock it here. And this is actually the wallpaper I had set prior. I'm going to change it, but I want to use this device to share my location if you're doing that for find my iPhone. And what you'll see now is it's installing all of the different applications and their data. So it's moving all of this information and some of these weren't on here. It puts those on there by default. So you can either delete those or put those in a folder. So if we go over here, other than the wallpaper, you'll see it's very similar. So all the apps are the same. It's restoring the folders the same. And then if we go here, You'll see all of those are the same and these are the same as well. So pretty much all identical. It's just going to take a moment. All of my messages will restore all of the data, all of the settings, all of the photos. If I use iCloud photo library, everything will be back to how it was. So that's really all there is to it. So now if you want to sell your old phone and reset it, be sure to check out how to reset to factory default. That'll wipe everything so that you can sell it or give it to someone else. But be sure not to delete your photos from the photos app before you do that. Because if you would delete your photos from the photo app here, it will delete them everywhere. Make sure you restore the whole phone and then just wipe this phone. Do not delete the photos from it. That will actually cause a problem everywhere else. So if you would delete them individually, you don't want to do that. So be sure to check out that video about resetting it. And then I've also linked another one about the photos and how that works. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like as always. Thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.